Hi dear students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. This is Seema Dudley. In this video, we will discuss about the authentication and encryption on constrained nodes. The security, that is IP secu IoT security is a complex topic and uh, we can explain some of the IETF working groups that are focused on IoT security that is ACE and DICE, D-I-C-E. ACE means authentication and authorization for constrained environments. The ACE working group expects to produce a standard solution for authentication and authorization that enables authorized access. Upon unauthorized persons in a access on Davila. Then an unconstrained authorization server performs mediation of the access. Aligned with the initial focus, access to the resources at a resource server by a client device occur using QAB, that is constrained application protocol, and is protected by DTLS, that is datagram transport layer security. Next one is the DICE, that is DTLS in constrained environments. The DTLS in constrained environment, that is DICE working group, focus on implementing the DTLS transport layer security protocol in the environments. And the first task of the DICE working group is to define and optimized DTLS profile for constrained nodes. And also the DICE working group is considering the applicability of the DTLS record layer to secure multicast messages and investigating how the DTLS handshake in constrained environments can be optimized. Next, we discuss about some of the main industry organizations working on profile definition and certification for on IoT constrained nodes and networks. So the first industry is the Internet Protocol for Smart Objects, that is IPSO Alliance. This was established in 2008. The Internet Protocol for Smart Objects Alliance has had its own objective evolve for years. Today, uh, mainly initially, this alliance focused on promoting IP as the premier solution for smart objects communication. But today, it is more focused on how to use IP with the IPSO Alliance. Next industry that focuses on the IoT security is the Wisen Alliance. The Wisen Alliance is an example of efforts from the industry to define a communication profile that applies to specific physical and data link layer protocols. And this Wi-Fi Wisen uh, mainly focus on IEEE 802.0. 15.4 protocol and it supports for multi-service and secure IPv6 communication with applications running over the UDP transport layer. The utilities industry is a main area of focus for the Wizen Alliance. The Wizen field area network profile enables smart utility networks to provide resilient, secure, and cost-effective connectivity with extremely good coverage in a range of topographic environments from dense urban neighborhoods to rural areas. Third is a group of companies involved with smart object solution for consumers and uh, this group has defined an ipv6 based wireless profile that provides 
the best way to connect more than 250 devices into a low power wireless mesh network and the wireless technology used by the thread is IEEE 802.15.4. The next one is IPv6 ready logo and uh, the main objective uh, of this IPv6 forum is the promotion of IPv6 around the world. Okay, uh, We know that we are currently using IPv4 so for smart objects to be connected to the network we have to ensure that all the devices has been changed to IPv6 and uh, the main objective of this IPv6 ready logo is to ensure that uh, the promotion of IPv6 around the world. And uh, we can say some of uh, some other benefits of IPv6 logo as to verify protocol implementation and validate interoperability of IPv6 products and uh, to provide access to testing tools. And another one is provide IPv6 ready logo testing laboratories across the globe dedicated to provide testing assistance or services. Here is the assignment questions. First question, explain the IETF working groups that are focused on IoT security. And the second question is explain some of the main industry organizations working on profile definition and certifications for IoT constrained nodes and networks.